So here is a little grid I want to walk you guys through, okay? And you can see on the left side, it says eat. Eat less at the bottom, eat more at the top. And then along the x-axis or down at the bottom, it says exercise less and then exercise more. So I want to fill in these gaps for you real quick, right? So one approach that we could try, right, is we could try the standard eat more, exercise less approach, which is what pretty much every couch potato all over the world does, right? They eat more, they exercise less. And what happens to them? They gain some muscle <clears throat> and they gain fat typically, right? So we think, well, let's do the opposite, right? Let's do the opposite of that. Let's eat less and exercise more. And what happens to these people is they end up in a situation where they lose fat and they lose muscle. And they begin to suffer this compensatory reaction that almost assures that they end up back in the eat more, exercise less column and gain even more fat and more muscle than they had before, right? Well, here is the thing that you need to understand. And this, this you may want to sort of take your time to sort of listen to as I go through this. There are two things that are absolutely required for weight loss and specifically fat loss. The first thing is you absolutely do require a calorie deficit. The research is clear on this. Anyone who says that calories does not matter doesn't know what they're talking about. The research is absolutely clear. We know that you must have a calorie deficit to lose weight. The other thing you need is hormonal balance. So you need a calorie deficit and you need hormonal balance to have sustained lasting fat loss, right? Well, here's the problem with the dieting world, the eat less, exercise more model. It gives you the first. It will easily create a calorie deficit, right? But it makes the other one worse. In other words, it throws off your hormones in a way that increases hunger, increases cravings, lowers motivation, right? And slows the metabolic rate so much so that any weight loss stalls or reverses. Now, there is another way to create both a calorie deficit and hormonal balance. In fact, there's two ways to create a calorie deficit and hormonal balance, and here they are. The first way is you could either eat less and exercise less, which is probably best for fat loss, and a lot of the European cultures, this is the way they do it. I was in Paris last year in uh, March, and what I saw in Paris is very different than what I saw even in London or uh, United States when I'm home. And what I saw is people walking around everywhere, people eating, you know, they were eating pastries and they were eating sandwiches and they were drinking their wine, but their portions were so small to an American. Like when I got the portions, I was like, what is this, finger food? I mean, this, is, this isn't a real portion size. But what they do is you don't see them hoisting weights, running around, doing all this stuff, but they typically eat less and exercise less. In fact, most of our grandparents did things this way. They were smaller than us, leaner than us. They ate less. They exercised less. The other way that you could do it is you can eat more and exercise more. And this is probably the best way to put on muscle. And this is what everyone's favorite athlete tends to do. How many of you guys know a, an elite athlete who runs around like crazy and then starves themselves with 1,200 calories a day? Doesn't happen, does it? Yet they look really great right? They look really great. This is the thing that I want you guys to be aware of. And let me tell you one thing that I hear. You guys could tell me if you hear this too. Lincoln and I talked about this. We hear this all the time. How many of you guys have heard someone say, you know, you hear this in social media or you hear it in the gym where someone says, you know what? I've been eating only an 800 calorie a day or 1200 calories per day. And I've been exercising like crazy. And somebody looks at them and says, you can't do that. Just if your metabolism is broken, now you need to eat more and exercise less. How many of you guys have heard that, right? You need to eat more. You're starving yourself, right? Guess what happens when you take someone who's in deep metabolic compensation and tell them to eat more and exercise less? What happens to them? They gain fat so quickly, it's like a helium balloon, right? They, they blow up like a water balloon so fast you would not believe. And this is exactly why a lot of you get clients coming to you saying, I went to so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so because I, had, you know, I was not losing weight. They told me to eat more. I had this actually last week in my clinic. 
woman gains 16 pounds in 10 days. How, how does that happen? Obviously, all of it is not fat. Most of it's water, right? But that's pretty distressing to somebody, you know, when they follow this advice. And so what I want you to remember, we want you to remember that if you're going to fix this, you either have to choose from the blue column, not the red. You cannot do the opposite. Otherwise, you get severe metabolic compensation. The only way to get somebody out of this is eat less, exercise less, or eat more, exercise more. It's hugely, hugely important. That is the fix. You know, here's the thing. I, I like to use the analogy of, um, of tug of war. How many of you guys played tug of war when you were, when you were in, uh, you know, grade school, elementary school? Well, remember the tug of war, right, is a, t is a great example of metabolic compensation because that's what your body's doing. You pull on it. You eat less, exercise more. It pulls on you, increases hunger, energy, and cravings, right, and then lowers metabolic rate. You pull harder it pulls harder. You pull harder again, it pulls harder. And guess who's going to win that tug of war match eventually? Not you. You're not going to win a battle of wills against your physiology. So the way to win, the best way and the funnest way to win a tug of war match is when the metabolism starts pulling, you let go of the rope and the other team just goes tumbling to the ground. Remember that old trick in tug of war? That's what eat less, exercise less does. And that's what eat more, exercise more does. It tricks the body. 